Goldwing Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motoblogs. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing out on the gold wing and today i am riding with the white knight yeah 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 what's going on white knight man feeling good man first ride in a while man feel like i'm about to have a wingasm feel like you about to have a wingasm yeah about to have a wingasm man because at first okay. i was gonna have a a, a wing attack because it's been so long since i rode on my bike so man White Knight, don't feel bad. I hadn't been out on the wing in over two weeks. Wow. And, uh, you know, one of my viewers had come in about I need to get off the, the highways and hit the back roads. Yeah. But what a lot of uh, viewers don't know is that some of my material uh, is pre-recorded. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, if I, I, know, take, I noticed that last bit you did. Yeah, yep. if I take a two-hour ride, I can't put two hours of, of riding on YouTube, so I may just edit it down to about, you know, 10 or 15 minutes. So. But you'll have to be an insider to know them secrets. Yeah. That's one of the secrets. That's one of the secrets of Chris Caliente. Another, another Caliente special. Yeah, I can't reveal all my secrets. Yeah. And I, I I remember the video that came out uh, last week and when we went uh, when we went to Arkansas to install this lights. Right. And I knew we had did that at least a couple of weeks ago, two three weeks ago. Yeah, that was in April, as a matter yeah. of fact. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, well, hey, I just love the footage. Just love the footage. Yeah, I just love the footage. Give me something to go back and ride to. Yeah. Because sometimes when you can't ride, you can ride on the Chris Caliente channel. Yeah, you know. YouTube. That's Chris right. Chris Caliente Goldwing Group. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, you know, it seems like my viewer count has dropped because a lot of guys jumped over to the to the Goldwing Group. <laughs> but I just want to tell my viewers, don't forget about YouTube. You got to remember the YouTube. You got to remember That's YouTube, all you know. It's all, it started at YouTube, so I'm still going to do YouTube. Yeah. And Facebook is an outlet, a means for uh, uh, getting together with other bikers. Yeah. Saying what's on your mind, displaying your bikes, but hey. Yeah, a a forum like, forum like. At the end of the day, let's meet right back here at the YouTube channel and continue. Yep. Uh-huh. I agree. So, White Knight. Yo. My appetite has kicked in. Mine has, too. And I think I want to check out either the Gus's fried chicken or uh, Bozo's hot pit barbecue. Oh, either one of them sounds good to me. Either one sounds good to you? I'm going to check both of them out. <laughs> that, <laughs> that would be ideal, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. That would be ideal. So we're just cruising, man. We're not trying to do too much riding today. Yeah. Out here on the uh, go wing. <laughs> we need to talk to him. We need to see what's going on with Scandalous. I haven't talked to Scandalous in a couple weeks. Scandalous, uh is doing some upgrades on his goal. He's he doing some Aspen Cave upgrades. Yeah, he's add add to it. Next time we see it, it might it might ain't no telling how that bike that bike might get up and walk and do a transform on us. Uh oh. Rack, 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 rack. <laughs> I heard that. Now well, you go. Them, they don't call him scandalous for nothing. They don't call him scandalous for nothing. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, we talked to dark, old Dark Knight for a minute this morning. And, oh yeah. And then. Oh, yeah, we, we talked to the Dark Knight. Dark Knight rises. Yeah, the Dark Knight always rises. My bat senses are tingling. I see you, Mr. Police Man. I heard it. Shouts out to law enforcement. Shouts out to Leo. Shout, shouts, shouts out to law enforcement. We got to have them. Obey the law. Have you ever been face to face with a police officer and wondered, is he about to kick my ass? Well, wonder no more. If you follow these easy tips, you'll be fine. First, obey the law. Laws were made for a reason. Think of them as hints. 
You've heard people say, man, I wouldn't do that shit if I was you. Well, here's some of that shit. Carjacking, armed robbery, arson, selling drugs, buying drugs, stabbing, shooting. You know, you probably won't get your ass kicked if you just use common sense. If you jump a subway turnstile, you might just get off with a warning from the police. But if you jump a turnstile carrying a loaded gun and smoking a joint, then maybe you need your ass kicked. We all know what happened to Rodney King, but Rodney wouldn't have got his ass kicked if he had just followed this simple tip. When you see flashing police lights in your mirror, stop immediately. Everybody knows, if the police have to come and get you, they're bringing an ass kicking with them. Here's a no-brainer. If you're listening to loud rap music, turn that shit off. Blast and fuck the police while you're getting pulled over by the police. It's just ignorant. When an officer approaches your car, be polite. Is there a problem, officer? And stay in your car with your hands on the wheel. What the fuck do you want, motherfucker? Unless you want your ass kicked. <laughs> want to give a friend a ride? Not so fast. Your friend might be crazy. Now, before you let your friend in your car, ask them these questions. Do you have a gun? Do you have drugs? Do you have any warrants? And in case you do get pulled over by the cops. License and registration, please. Remind your friend to do this one thing. Shut the fuck up. Man, don't give him shit. What the fuck you want? <laughs> if you have to give a friend a ride, get a white friend. A white friend can be the difference between a ticket and a bullet in the ass. Here's a tip you should never forget. If your woman is mad at you, leave her at home. Because a mad woman will say anything. He got weed! He got weed! If your woman is mad at you, there's nothing she'd like to see more than you getting your ass kicked. That's my kick, this Obey the law. Use common sense. Stop immediately. Turn that shit off. Be polite. Shut the fuck up. Get a white friend. And last but not least, don't ride with a mad woman. If you follow these simple pointers, you probably won't get your ass kicked by the police. We oh, yeah. like Lom. We like Leo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah, got to have him. Hey, did you see we just came into another city? Yeah. I just saw that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We just cruising. Yeah, just cruising. Yeah. Looking like this, neck like that on this nice day. Yeah. You not know, too hot, not too cold. You know, after being off the gold wing for a couple of weeks, you know, you have to, you can't just jump into it and just go. You got to kind of work your way back in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. At least that's, that's how I do it. I've been having a lot going on, and I haven't been riding as much as I would like to. And I still am looking at. What? I'm still looking at. Stand by. I'm trying to look at my odometer, see what I got on my odometer. I'm still looking at over 14,000. Hmm. I bought a big truck. You got it on? Yeah, I'm still looking at. Just over 14,000 miles there, White Knight. Wow. Uh-huh. Wow, so you got 14,000 miles. Yeah, 14,000, over 14,000. And um, you, you did, a, did, 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 did at least a couple of thousand miles doing that, except you wasn't driving. You was on the wing of love in mm -hmm. the sky. <laughs> and you know this man. Exactly. And yeah, you know, so if, you, if, you look at the, if you look at the airplane, they have one up front and then two in the back. Yeah. From me looking in the back of your trailer, it looked like you flying right now. On yeah. the gold wing. Yeah, I really wanted to ride, but man, yeah, we was getting so much rain. 
Yeah, I know. And uh, it's still flooding in some parts. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I saw that this morning on the news. It's still flooding. So you have to be careful, man. Uh, plan your routes and uh, you want to make sure you're not hitting any, any of those low-lying flooded areas because that could be a disaster. Yeah, I see you. I see. I see you pulling the trailer today. Thing oh yeah. Good, oh man. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, you know man. you got to pull the trailer. Yeah, man. That's Chris Callahan take old wing special right yeah, there. Yeah, I got the trailer, man. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Speaking of trailer, did you see uh, Carnell Luckett? Uh, he just oh, got his yeah, trailer man. in. Oh, yeah. I got to send a shout-out to our boy Carnell with Black Flash. Now yeah. Black Flash got got extra booty behind it. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Got extra cargo. As a matter of fact, I, a matter of fact, I was looking at uh, pretty much the same type trailer he got when I was at Wingding uh, a couple years ago. That thing is nice, but that, that's the same trailer that uh, Brother Cowboy got, isn't it? No, current, uh, Brother Cowboy has the K&M trailer. Okay, okay. And uh, But I was looking at that same trailer, basically. I don't know if they changed it much from when I saw it a couple years ago. I talked to Bush Tech at that time. Bush Tech was won $5,000 uh, for that trailer. That one has a price on it for $5,048. Price of a car. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they was gonna, you know, they was gonna do everything, the hitch, the lights, everything. Uh, they was gonna do it for me for 5,000. And that was discounted. They was giving me a break then. So it was yeah. gonna be more than that. And I just, I said, man, I can't do it. Not right now. And uh, I end up going another route. But those trailers are nice. So congratulations yeah. to- Congratulations. To uh, uh, Carnell. I know Carnell. he spent quite a uh, bit of money getting that trailer because those trailers are not cheap. And I'm sure Black Flash appreciates it. Yeah, Black Flash appreciates it, but I gotta, I'm gotta. i wondering, is it worth spending, you know, thousands of dollars on a trailer if you're not going to really do a lot of touring with it? Yeah, what, and, what do you think about that, and, YouTube and, viewers? And, what do you think? And the reason why I say that is because even myself, you know, I spent quite a bit of money on my trailer, yeah. and I haven't really had an opportunity to really uh, do any Talk touring with it. it. I see him. You know, I haven't really had an opportunity to do a lot of touring with my trailer. Yeah. Uh, you know, for the most part, you can pack up some things and throw it on the back of your of your seat. Uh, the trailer makes it look better. I call it the combo. Yeah, it's like, it's like a, a combo, bag, yeah. Big bag with fries and a drink. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'll pull my trailer just because I put a lot of money into it, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, between family and some things that's been going on, I haven't had an opportunity to really do any long distance touring. Uh, but I'll, you know, I'll pull my trailer just because I, you know, I put the money into it. But is it worth putting a lot of money into a trailer that you really maybe, you know, won't use that much or you yeah. won't really get an opportunity to do any touring with it? But, well, you know, I'm on the fence about the trailer stuff. Yeah. You know, I've been yeah. talking to you about it. I'm I'm on the fence, and I don't get an opportunity to really travel long distances. So, so I'm I'm not really sure. But I hope you don't mind this. But any of you YouTube viewers, if you if you if you if you'll go ahead and and and, and give your give your opinion on it yeah. about the trailer, and if you got if you got pictures of your trailer, yeah. maybe you can post it on Chris Kelly Intake Gold Wing Group on Facebook. Yeah, let us see your trailers. But uh, you know, I just want to say that uh, putting a lot of money on a trailer looks good yeah and uh you're gonna have to have a place to keep it but will you yeah. really use it you know is yeah. it you know i like how lane banger did it lane banger uh spent a minimum amount of money yeah and uh he still has a trailer but he don't have a lot of money invested yeah you know yeah. Bang, I, bang 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 i spent i spent a pretty good amount of money yeah but I really don't use my trailer as much as I would like to. Yeah. But it looks good on the bike. I was gonna say that. I was you know, so say, is it no. really worth spending, you know, five, six thousand dollars for a trailer that you just, probably won't get a chance to use that much? Because primarily you'll be doing it for the looks. Cause yeah, I don't you're doing it for the looks. No, um, no. Unless, unless you're gonna be touring with it. I mean, if you're gonna be touring with it, yeah. You know, that's a good thing. But will you be touring with it? And, and for me, even myself, I'm guilty. I haven't been doing any, any real touring with it. I mean, yeah. it looks good on the bike. It comes in handy. Uh, it's good to have. Uh, but will you tour with it? You know, and that's the thing. Is it worth it? I guess it just depends on the rider. Yeah. You know, it's like putting a lot of chrome on your bike. Is it really worth it? It's not going to change the dynamics of the ride. Yeah. But it's going to look good. 
Exactly. So, yeah, you know, I guess it just depends on the rider, White Knight. Yeah, it, it, it depends on the rider. It depends on the rider's wallet. <laughs> well, well, that's true know, too. Because uh, if you, you know, I, I, I don't mean no harm, but whether I use trail or not, if, you know, if your finances are good. Yeah, that's true you, too. You, you know, you have it just in case because you never know when yeah. you might get a wild hair and say, "Well, look, I want to go somewhere," and yeah. you got your trailer to, to pull it. Or you know, you know, I remember one of your videos when you were friend making coffee, and you might want to fry a burger and pull out the table yeah. and chair and stuff. You know? Right. And that's true. And, and uh, you know, I even, uh, you know, talked to you probably about it. You know, in my opinion, to you was White Knight. I said, man, uh, you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to get a trailer. You can get a uh, you can get a decent trailer, a used trailer and have it painted. Or you can go all out and get a new trailer and go all the way. I guess it just depends on your wallet. Exactly. So, you know, I'm not trying to say one way or the other. Uh, I would say for me personally, it looks good. It, it, it looks does. really good, but you know, my mindset is uh, things has to have a function. Yeah. You know, it's like Chrome. Chrome has absolutely no function to me other than yeah. look good. And I have a couple Chrome pieces on my bike, but uh, some guys just like a lot of Chrome. Like for example, Steven. Steven, you know, has Chrome from the front to the back. Yeah. And uh, it's true enough that a lot of the Chrome that he has was on his bike when he bought it, but. You know, he, he constantly adds chrome to it. Yeah. And for me personally, chrome has no, it doesn't change the dynamic of the, of the ride, but it looks yeah. good. So I guess it just depends on the rider. It's the individual. It's the because, individual. Because and, and, and your bike sometimes, how it shows your personality. It's just like your bike. Your bike is equipped like Air Force One. But but if you're, but if you're a person that don't want to have to have all those gadgets on there, you wouldn't want all that, that, that stuff there. Well, that's true. But, you know, so it, it depends on... Like you said, the rider, because Cornell look at uh, Black Flash. Black Flash to me is the ultimate show, show, uh, light, oh, light yeah. made up show bike. Right. For Tony, uh, for, for White Knight, I would not care about uh, having the lights. I got lights on my bike. I got a light kit. And uh, I got a light, uh, you know, and believe it or not, I have it. And I'm hardly ever out at night. The good right. thing about it is, if I am ever out at night, I can utilize the then. Right. At that point, that's the good part that I like about it, just right. having it, just getting back right. with the trailer. Right. It, you know, it's just having it. That's the good part because you never know. Yeah, you never know. It's good to have it. It's better to have it and not need it. Yes. Than to need it and not have it. Yes. But uh, I just want to say, to, in my opinion, again, uh, you don't have to go out and spend a whole lot of money to get a nice trailer. You can buy a good used trailer and have it painted. That's what I did. I was going to go. Uh, originally, like I said, I was at Wing Ding. I was looking at those Bush Tech trailers, and I was going to go all out. I was going to do exactly uh, what Cornell did. Yeah. But I just said, at the end of the day, I didn't want to put that much on the trailer. And yeah. when it all boiled down, I probably ended up spending up probably just as much. Yeah. So yeah. it just depends on the rider. You have to do what works best for you. Yeah. You have to do what works best for you. So. I don't know. What do you guys think, you two? Yeah, yeah let us know. Do you, go out, do you go out and spend a ton of money for a trailer? Or do you go and just spend a, uh, a smaller amount for a trailer uh, that will still serve the same purpose? Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, drop me some comments down in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. This is your boy Chris. And your boy White Knight. And your boy, there's Gus's fried chicken. Huh. Yeah. Out on the gold wing. Out on Out the, on the gold, gold wing. wing. And we're coming up here to Bozo's Hot Pit Barbecue. Whoa. Bozo's, you want the chicken or you want the pork? Hmm. Heart attack on the plate. <laughs> Well, I guess pork it is. Pork it is. Well, anyway, drop us some comments down in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is your boy, Chris Caliente, out with the White Knight. And we're going to check out some of this hot pit barbecue out here at Bozo's. And yeah. I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, and don't forget Deuces. the Facebook channel. Don't forget Facebook.